Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm coming with today's word. God is speaking. Today, we're going to be looking in the book of Exodus, chapter 14. And I quickly want to look at verses 15 and 16. We know that this is when the children of Israel were being delivered from Egypt. And we know that Moses was taking them. They were going. And then they found themselves faced with the Red Sea. And the Egyptians were chasing behind them. They were caught in the middle. And they didn't want to move forward. And they shouldn't move backwards. And they were afraid. And, and they were upset. And, and the Bible tells us just these two verses. This is a scripture I want to look at um, after the uh, children of Israel had had been afraid and and they were, um, you know, just thinking we should have stayed where we were. And then Moses tells them, don't fear, stand still. We'll see the salvation of the Lord. And, you know, um, he lets them know that the Lord was going to fight for them. So in verse 15, it says, the Lord said unto Moses, wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. But lift thou up thy rod, stretch out your hand over the sea, and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And so I just want to stop here for a minute because what God is telling them is move forward. He's telling them, look, why do you keep crying to me about this? Tell the children of Israel to move forward. He said, this is what's going to happen. You lift up the rod, stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. The children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. He's saying, listen, if you want to, if you want to get to the other side, if you want to see the miracle, you got to do something. We're always asking for one, for miracle signs and wonders, but we have to realize faith without works is dead as we continue to pray about various things in our individual lives or you know for our nation or for our community for the church for the unsaved as we continue to pray against all of the evils that are going on in the world listen faith without works is dead we have to move forward and if we want to see a miracle we got to walk into a miracle peter would have never experienced the miracle of walking in the storm on the water if he had not gotten out of the boat and began to move the others that sat in the boat didn't experience anything it didn't matter Matter if they were praying about it, if they were hoping anything, they weren't going to ever experience that miracle because they never moved. The children of Israel would have never known that God could open up that water through Moses and that they could walk through on dry land unless they move forward. We have got to stop sitting back hoping that something happens and we're not walking in it. Faith is an action where faith without works is dead. It's time for us to rise up. We've been praying about children. We've been praying about, you know, those, those that are homeless and hurting and we've been praying about you know our, our elderly and we've been praying about those incarcerated those in the hospital but what are you doing are you going out laying hands on the sick and they recover casting out demons in Jesus name ministering to that young person going out in the streets and the highways and hedges preaching the gospel going into the prisons what are we doing as a whole it's not some person's responsibility it's the body of Christ's responsibility and so we are to raise up armor up and go forward as the soldiers God called us to be faith without works is dead if you want a miracle you you got to walk in it. You got to move in it. You can't just sit back and hope that job comes knocking at your door. If you want a supernatural, if you want a breakthrough, if you want a blessing, you've got to get up and do something. If you want that job, you can't put in one resume and then hope that job comes knocking at your door. You got to get up and believe this is my job. You go in there. If you have to tell them I'll work for you for free for a week and show you how good I am and how much you need me. You're walking out in faith and you're believing for something and you refuse to back down if you're believing for that healing you got to walk like it you got to stop putting things in your body that's not supposed to be there you have a part to play in this god is a miracle working god he's the same god he's a i don't change god but then he expects for us to do our part for us to participate even the man with the withered hand had to stretch it forth you know the man that was blind that jesus put the clay on his eyes but then the guy had to go to the pool and wash it off the thing is is that there's a part that we have to play you got to move forward you want to see signs wonders and miracles then you got to do something don't just hope we can't just hope that our children get right we got to get up and speak that word of life we got to get up and be an example we have to show them god's miracle work we have to go forward and do the things that god is telling us to do if you want that business if you're starting a career what are you doing about it are you just sitting back does everything have to be your way are you doing it god's way are you doing it your own way is it certain things you're too proud to do are you wanting a need to be met but you too good to work at this place or do this but you want God to do a miracle for you no you got to be faithful over a few things you got to be willing to step out and do whatever you got to do to get what it is that you're trying to accomplish and you have to do it God's way God told them how to do this he tells them where to go 
He told Moses what to do in order for the water to open up. You do it God's way and you'll see the miracles happen. You begin to move in it, you'll see the miracles happen. You can pray, but then there's some action that goes along with your faith. Faith without works is dead. You got to move forward. You got to decide enough is enough. Got to get tired of being stuck in the same place. You got to be tired of being stuck in the middle. They were stuck in the middle. The middle is the worst place that you can be because it's like you're not moving forward and it makes you tempted to move back and quit but you can't move back and quit so what do you do do you just stay there in limbo in the middle do you stay there so you can complain and murmur because that's what the children of Israel had started to do they were complaining we should have stayed where we were that's what happens when you're in the middle and then inevitably you go back unless you press forward but you got to trust God to press forward you got to do something you never did you got to do it a way you never did it stop depending on the same people to do the same stuff stop connecting yourself with the same people that you think are going to help you and the same people that you know that you've been connected with before doing the same things in the same places you're going to get the same results listen it's time for us to step forward and do what God called us to do and whatever it is that we're believing God for we got to be a part of the process God has given us a measure of faith we got to stop sitting back hoping that somebody does it hoping that something happens hoping that something changes are you a part of your own recovery are you a part of your own uh uh, uh, uh miracle are are you a part of, you know, the man with the withered hand, that was a miracle, but he was a part of the miracle. God caused it to happen. You know, Jesus told him, stretch forth your hand. If he didn't do it, it wasn't going to be no stretching forth. It was not going to be any recovery or restoration. The man that sat at Gate Beautiful, since he was born, he was unable to walk. And every day somebody laid him at the gate outside the temple. He begged for gold and silver. But one day Peter and John told him, Peter said, okay, gold and silver have I none, but what I have I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk the man could have sat there and he could have said that's not the way I do it I'm not gonna get up and fall what did people talk about me I've been trying to get up you think I didn't try to get up before I'm not strong enough to get up I'm not gonna do that I just want some gold and silver this is the way I'm doing it I'm not doing it that way no get up he had enough faith that his ankles his feet strengthened up when Peter lifted reached out his hand to help him up and the man got up walked Walking, leaping and praising the Lord and when he went inside the temple they were amazed because people don't have faith as a rule they say they do but then when the miracle happens they can't believe it happened you got to believe God enough that when the miracle happened you gonna believe that it happened but you got to walk in it you can't be ashamed of what other people gonna say and what they're gonna think do things in a way that lines up with God's will seek his face so he's directing your path and then when he tells you to do something crazy do something different do something outside your comfort zone do it because it took faith to walk through that Red Sea because even though Moses lifted up the rod and lifted up his hand and the sea parted you know you would have been wondering why you were walking through that what through that dry land if that water was gonna fall down on you you got to have some faith and you got to believe what you've never believed you got to believe that things can happen that have never happened before but you got to be a part of it it's not just praying praying without ceasing is necessary we need to pray all day every day in every situation and every circumstance let our requests be made known unto God cast our cares on them we need to be praying standing in the gap interceding and we need to do that all day every day but as we're praying if we're really praying in faith God is always telling us do this do that don't do that go here if you're praying without ceasing God is talking back to you and he's telling you things to do and things not to do and if we pray and we ain't listening then our prayer is in vain so listen we got to get up get ready put on the armor and whatever it is that God is telling you to do today you need to do it move forward in it and watch the salvation of the Lord Father it's in the name of Jesus that I pray for those that are watching and listening on today I pray that you strengthen us I pray that, pray that you guide us that you lead us that you direct us I pray Lord God in the name of Jesus that we walk by faith and not by sight and that we recognize faith is an action word because faith without works is dead help us to do what you're in what you're leading us to do what you intend for us to do and let us do it the way you want us to do it and we thank you that the miracles will follow the signs and wonders will come to pass and we thank you lord god for your mighty works we give you all the praise glory and honor in jesus name amen i pray you have a blessed day in the lord share the gospel with somebody who's unsaved today share this message with somebody who needs it hit the subscribe button if you want a, 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 a notification when i upload videos if you're not saved Give your life to Christ today. He died for you so you can have eternal life, abundant life, and new life in Christ Jesus. And don't forget, 
If you want to join us, the Wild Movement uh, Watchmen on the Wall, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we pray and get into the uh, to the presence of the Lord and stand in the gap one for another. And for those addicted, abused, hurting, incarcerated, those that are lost, we pray for wisdom, for knowledge, for understanding, for guidance. We're praying for the body of Christ. We're praying for the nation, for the leadership. We're believing God. And so we come together 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Facebook Live. My page is Tony Brooke Brown, hyphen in between Tony and Brooke. Uh, we would love for you to be there. There's a phone number underneath the YouTube video. If you don't have Facebook, you can call in. Also, with the Watchmen on the Wall meet on Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so we can pray for our children. We have a different topic that we discuss briefly before the prayer, but then we pray for our children of every age. We believe God that he is doing a thing that he will cover and protect our children, raise up our sons and daughters, to be men and women of God in the midst of an evil and perverse world. We are standing in the gap for our young people. So have a blessed day in the Lord. I will see you the next time. God bless you.